So I'm going to be creating a physics-based doorway in this next one using a combination of the Unity rigid body and the hinge joint. So let's take a look at my current setup. I started the scene, I created a plane, um, I created two walls using basic cubes. They're just a simple cube with a uh, material on it. And then I went ahead and I created two doors that I used to block up this little space in between the two, uh, the two doors. Now for my character for this, I'm using Unity's rollerball right here, rollerball. Uh, I found the rollerball by going to Assets, Import Package, Characters, uh, and then when you get your standard Assets folder, it's in Characters, Rollerball, Prefabs. So there it is. That's the prefab that I use. I'm throwing it in. What's great about this is it gives me a simple little demo uh, controller. I can use WASD to move or the arrow keys. And I can see that if I try to pass through the door or the walls, it's all solid right now. And that's because there's no rigid bodies on any of this. So I'm not actually able to interact with it or bump it over. So let's fix that first. In order to have the hinge joint work, it depends on there being rigid bodies attached. So we're gonna go ahead and select all four of our wall components, the two doors and the two walls, and choose add component. Uh, I'm gonna come down to physics and rigid body. Nice. Now, they're not all gonna be just plain old rigid bodies. For the two walls, I need to check on is kinematic. Is kinematic locks their position. It makes it so that they still um, are considered rigid bodies. They still recalculate their uh, colliders every frame, but instead, it, but it's actually not going to move. So now I can see if I play that my rollerball cannot affect the wall still, but it can now burst through the doors if I have enough force. Cool, and they fall right over. They're not connected at all to the walls, and that's a problem. So let's take care of that. Now the way that this works is, let me, let me click door one. This will be connected to the east wall. So I got door one here, add component, physics, and I come down to hinge joint. The hinge joint works just like a door. By default, if I now, uh, oh, you know what? I didn't actually connect it. I need a connected body here. So I'm gonna click on this little circle and choose east wall. I could also do this by dragging east wall into that field. Either way works just as well. And when I hit play, I can go now through that door and it'll swing open sort of like a doggy door, right? But that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for like the old Western saloon doors. So the way that I'm gonna to need to change this is by coming over here into the settings of the hinge joint and changing the axes. The axes will be one along the Y, zero along the, the X. That'll make it uh, just a vertical axis like a door hinge. And then the anchor, uh, do you see this right in the middle? There's this little uh, arrow here in my scene view. If I hover over the X and the anchor uh, field, and click and drag, I can actually move that. You can see it moving in the scene view. So when I move it right to about here, that's where I feel like the door hinge should be. That looks pretty good, 0.42. I'll remember that for later for the second door. Um, and then I'm also gonna go ahead and uh, set up a spring. I'm gonna say use spring and set the spring value to five. What that'll do is that'll say, okay, now I can go through, it works more like a traditional door, swing through, and it tries to close itself. See how it swings back and swings back and swings back? That's the spring. So if I had not enabled the spring, it would just kind of open up and stay open like a wooden door. But now I've, it feels like I have sort of more like a, um, like a saloon door, right? That wants to settle in the middle. So that's great. Uh, let me go ahead and attach the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna hit door two, add component, physics. Let's do a uh, hinge joint. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to the west wall. I'm gonna say that I want the anchor to be, oh, let me kind of come over here so I can see it a little better. I'll say I want zero in the X for axis, one in the Y, and then I'm going to move my anchor to about negative four, two. Remember, that was the right value for the other side. It's about 42. This will be negative 42, of course, because it's swinging the other way. Now, uh, with that all set up, I'm going to use the spring. Let's turn that on, five, and then I've got a pretty nice little door effect. I'll hit play. I'm going to drive my rigid body through. Cool, and they open up, awesome. This can really add some flavor to your game, some real style, and it's so satisfying too to go through the doors. Now let's make this into an actual game mechanic, uh, like almost like a puzzle that you have to be aware of. The way that I'm gonna do this is by making these doors one way. If I click on door one and come on down to limits, let me check on use limits, I'm gonna set the min to zero and the max to 90 uh, and bounciness to 0.2. Then the same thing on the other side, door two, gets a minimum, oh, let's use limits, minimum negative 90, max zero, bounciness 0.2. Now if I play, you're gonna see a very different behavior. We come through just like before, but when they close, 
they just bounce to a close like that. That's the bounciness making them kind of settle in that way. And the limit is what's making it so I can't get through the door anymore, right? So you got to think about that now as you play the game. You come through, you can't pass through the other way. So the challenge now is to set up sort of a maze or a puzzle in this format so that you have to use your rollerball, get through, but you can only go one way through the doors. If you make a mistake, you got to start over. There's some really, really cool opportunities here to make uh, interesting level design, and I, I uh, encourage you to experiment with the hinge joint because there's still a lot of nice features here, including the ability to break through the door even despite the hinges, which is really cool. Um, so play around with these, make some cool games, and uh, we'll try something new with joints next time.